respect to he's ever been there. You can't be taking things for granted, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, listen how beautiful it is. Listen to those birds chirping. It's totally Mother Nature at its best, man. Total tranquility, man. I need some peace and quiet once in a while, you know what I'm saying? God, how good it was to get out here. Dude, it's so beautiful. I mean, we get so wrapped up in all that life stuff all the time. It's like, we forget what's really important. You know what I'm saying? I mean, out here, it's all so trivial. You know, it's like, we get so crazy about things. We forget what's really important. We've got to focus on the tranquility, the peace. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, dude, you could like at any moment, like just get hit by a meteorite. Dude! Bobby, where are you? Unreal, huh? Boom! Oh, God! Jesus! <laughs> I'm funny. No, you're not. Ass much? I thought you liked a good scare. Hey, you like my bandana? Hey, you guys smell something? Well, I didn't scare him that bad. No, no. Oh, man. Something's real dead nearby. Whoa. <laughs> Gotta love the woods. What is that? I mean, what was it? Yeah, it looks like a bear kill. Stowe was probably sick or injured. Wolf would have left more behind. Bear kill. What, bears hunting with hand grenades now? I mean, that's a really weird carcass, man. Looks like it was, like, chewed up and spit out. An animal could do that? Yeah, some animals tear up their prey when they eat it. That's what it looks like, ladies. <laughs> Breathe deep. That's messed up real good. Actually, you know what? This kind of reminds me of American Werewolf in London. You know, just like what- We stop with the scary movies! <laughs> joking, buddy. Look all those horror movies done messed up your nerves. <laughs> Come on, let's check for some more spot fires. You know what? I think I got bit last night. Do bug scare diseases and stuff here? No, no, no. Well, Lyme disease from the ticks. And uh, that hantavirus from mouse poop. Mouse poop? Mouse poop. And you got uh, West Nile from the skeeters. And uh, old beaver fever, but that's more of like a waterborne kind hey! of Hey! You ladies just ain't gonna cut it if you have a hissy fit every time you encounter something that's got more than two legs. Suck it up. Okay? Let's get back to work. Yes, sir. Damn city kid whiners. Ow! Hey, ever see the one with the uh, mutant slugs? You know, got every people start to breed till there's like so many of them they just start to blow up? I don't know. Wasn't really a chick flick though, huh? How come girls don't get into that kind of thing? So, Slade, you just gonna sit there all day? 
No, I'll be right there. What the hell are you doing anyways? I don't know, I was just uh, feeling a little weird. I'm fine. <sighs> okay, well, get up off your ass then. Ooh, beavers. God, I love the woods. <laughs> Ranger Kelly. Glad to see you. Hey. Damn, I ain't seen nothing like that before. No, it's not your typical bear kill. Something's up. Space hole. Yeah. Yeah, meter. <laughs> what do you guys think of my headband? All right. Not really. It's a little. <laughs> <clears throat> hey. Turn the dirt to see if there's any heat in there. Yeah, we've been doing that. really nice. <laughs> yeah, you see the uh, really nice gun, too? See, rumor has it she shot the toe off some German tourist. Oh, God, that's disgusting. What's going on? Everybody back. Think did it. Something big and hungry. Everybody just keep your distance from here. Just step back. It's getting too late for us to hike out of the park now. Sorry, hi hike out? No, we're not hiking out of anywhere. We're on our honeymoon. Tell her, Claude. Uh, yeah, this is our honeymoon. Hey, look, everybody can stay at our camp tonight. It's close by. It's like we're having a slumber party. You can sleep next to me. I'll protect you from falling rocks. Where the hell did that come from? Whoa. Planned. This is our honeymoon. I didn't want to. I wanted to be alone. Not in the middle of a jamboree with a bunch of kids, you know? A ranger girl. A ranger said to stay put. She's a ranger clot. She's not a cop. I say tomorrow we take off. Salvage what's left of our vacation. You want to wander around the woods and look for more piles of animal guts? Be my guest. Hi. Hi. You uh, want to go for a walk or something? It's tempting, but I think I'm going to stay by the fire for a little bit. Suit yourself, Blondie. Hey. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Yeah, I don't feel so hot. Uh, just gotta get some air, you know? Dude, we're outdoors, man. Ain't nothing out here but Hey, why don't you get off my back? 
I'm getting a little bit tired of you telling me what's a what all the time. Knock it off, guys. Ow! Damn bugs. Well, that's a good start. I'm Terry, and this is Honey. And you are? I think he's shy. <laughs> Jack. I'm Jack. Well, I'm gonna go find the ladies' room. Don't worry about me. If I get lost, I'll just call for that other guy. Where'd he go, anyways? Who, Slade? Nah, he went to go puke or something. Hey, slow down. We'll be here all night. This can't wait. Yeah, well, watch out for that poison oak. <laughs> that thing's still not working? Mm-mm. wondering if you haven't finished that flask already. Maybe we could go for that walk? Is that no? You don't think you'd have heard me unless I wanted you to, do you? Jesus, Harry. Well, nice to see you too, Kelly. What do you want, Harry? When are you going to call me by my real name? It's the same one I've had since you were born. It's easy to say. It's easy to spell. Three little goddamn letters. D-A-D. -D, Dad. It's short for father. Well, you come up short as a father. What do you want, Harry? I came about that rock that fell. The meteor. What about it? It's a big hole in the ground now. I came to warn you, you and all your friends. You're all in danger. All right. 
What kind of danger are we all supposed to be in, Harry? Not so fast, not so fast. Can we be civil? Have a little father-daughter talk for once? You know, you really remind me of your mom when you look at me like that. You got her temper, and you got her stubbornness, too. It's my park. If there's any problems here, I need to know. What warning, Harry? You know, I really do believe you could beat any man alive in a pissing contest, even if he had a high wind at his back. Harry, what do you want? I want to warn you. You and all your friends. That thing that came down out there, it'll bring you grief, you hear? You're all in danger. You want to get out? You want to get out now, before they come. Because they tracked it. You know they tracked it, and they'll be here. They're on their way. Oh, Lord, not this again. Listen to me. I've seen this before, so you listen, and you listen to me good, girly. Those things come down out of the sky, and they bring hell with them. And don't think Uncle Sam doesn't know about it either. Stop it. Don't you dare do this to me here, Harry. You wouldn't let me throw water on you if you were on fire, would you? You really are as stubborn as your mother. What do you know about Mom, Harry? You were never around. You even missed the funeral. Where the hell is Slade? I thought I told you all to stay put. He went for a walk. Slade! Uh, he was being a bitch. Yeah, well, he ain't seen nothing yet. If he's not back soon, go fetch him. To hell with it. Just go fetch him now. How many times I warned you? Don't cross the ranger. I said go get your buddy. I wanted to get some sleep. I'll do that right after I find Slade. We're going for a walk in the woods. Come on. I'll be sure to grab some extra sleep for you, Jack. <laughs> you should get the ranger to look at that. So now I'm going to get the silent treatment? What would you prefer? I'd like a better attitude. I could take you out and look for guts if you prefer. Now, why don't we do that? Is this how we're going to solve all of our problems, Claude? Hmm? Blame shifting? I'm not blame shifting. What do you call it, then? God, who are the pants in that couple? I am never getting married. Life is way too short to be tied down, especially if you're like that. You know, all I wanted to do is spend a little bit of time alone with you. That's such a problem. Well, it's hard to spend time with you when you keep... It's hard to spend time with me? No, I'm just... No, that's what you said, Claude. Well, all day long you've been on my ass. Oh. Been on your ass, huh? Can't believe we're out in the middle of the night doing this. I mean, what the hell is she worried about? I know. Slay! No, I'm sure he's fine. Screw it. Let's go back to the camp. Plus, we got guests, right? Understood, sir. Stand by. Sir? We have a complication. What the 
Hey, Sam. Sam. You look like hell. Thanks, I was wondering. We should tell the ranger. No, just... Just let me sleep this off before you go wrap me out to that drill sergeant, okay? Wow, it's beautiful out here. Mm hmm I wonder when the ranger will make us leave. Mm. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Girls! Ranger was here earlier. Couldn't get a ranger radio working. She doesn't want anybody going anywhere until she hears from high command. Good morning to you, too. Jesus Christ, girly. Jesus Christ yourself, Harry. What's making you so jumpy? Who are you gonna shoot? You can't have that in my park. I have the right to bear arms. You hunting with that? You'd disarm your own father. You'd shoot your own daughter. Now hand it over. You can have a rifle for personal protection. Not your hand cannons with Teflon ordnance, Harry. Keep it. I have more. You give me grief, and I'll come over there, and I'll take those, too. Well, that'd be one way to get you to come over for a cup of coffee and sit down now, wouldn't it? What are you up to, Harry? Well, there's these camo dudes all over the woods, and there's weird stuff going on. I know a black operation. When I see one, I can smell it a mile away. <sighs> yeah, don't give me that. Have you tried to get out on your radio lately? Yeah, well, the radio's been down. It goes down a lot, sometimes for days. Sunspots, Harry. You know all about that. I know they jam communications. I also know they're the ones that got rid of those animal remains. But they missed one. Come on. Same as the animals. And the crater, it's all covered up all nice and pretty, like it was never there. They want alien technology, and they want alien organisms, and they want it for themselves. They cover this stuff up all the time. Cover up what, Harry? It's probably a cougar. No! I don't believe that, neither do you. I've seen this before, Kelly. Okay, well, that's fine, girly. You just be like that, but you take damn good care of yourself at the same time. You hear? You and I are gonna have that talk, too. Soon. I still think we should wait for the ranger and tell her we're leaving. I'll pin a note to the fridge, okay? I'm staying here with these kids. We'll go somewhere private where we can do what we came here to do. Now you want to go fishing? I was just kidding. We, we can fish later. Oh! Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, can you help me out? I don't feel like... I need some air. What have you kids been into? Nothing. God. Okay, okay. okay. 
Okay, let's sit you down. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Hey, you're up. You feeling better? Oh, that's great. Great, Claude. Can we get you anything? I really need help. Okay, when the ranger gets back, we'll get her, okay? Okay. So, supposed to look around every tree in this park? That's what the ranger says to do. Yeah, we don't know where he is. We don't got any way to call anybody and tell them, you know? So you ask me, he's probably sitting around having beers with that weird old hairy guy having a good laugh at us out here looking for him. Yeah, well, we're gonna keep on looking for him. Okay, Jack? You just sucking up to the ranger? You know, we've both seen the way that you look at her. Hey, you haven't seen anything, okay? And unless you want to be tied to a tree for a couple days, you ain't gonna repeat that to anyone. Hey, are you listening to me, Jack? What is it? Oh, shit. Wait. Stay away from the remains. Who the hell are you? I'm here to help. Sorry about the scare, boys. You all right? Yeah, we are now. Who are you? Part of a team that came here to help you. Hmm. Well, there's some others back at our camp that could use some help. This area seems secure. Why don't you take me back to your camp and we'll see what we can do. We have human xenomorph contact. Subjects seem all right. Heading back to camp to check on friends, over. Understood, over and out. All right, boys, lead the way. What about Slade? I'll take care of it. You didn't find the ranger? She looks worse. Is she shivering? Yeah. Could mean her fever's gonna break. Could be good. You know, we're like her friend and all, but maybe we shouldn't be so close. All right. I think he's coming down with something. We'll be fine as soon as we get out of here. Well, one of them is sick. One of them too. Sure? Hey, when are we getting out of here? We have a honeymoon to get back to. <coughs> what Slade looked like last night. I don't believe this. What happened to her? She's been bit. It's her stomach that's bothering her, though. It's just get through this, and then we'll laugh about it on some beach somewhere, okay? <sighs> Look at the skin on her wrist. It's oh. necrotic, rotting the flesh. Isn't there somebody we can go get? Unfortunately, we're in hundreds of square miles of state forest. 
Not a tourist resort. We don't even have a communication, so we're on our own. Samantha, Samantha, answer me. No. Happening to her. She's having a Take it easy, ma'am. Who are you people? Whoa, 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 they're here to help. It's cool. They're friends. You guys are not going to believe what's going on here. Actually, uh, I think they already know. I said, who the hell are you? I'm lowering my weapon, Ranger. We're here to help with your problem, Ranger. Yeah, well, the problem is you shot that girl. She was already dead, Ranger. Your problem is that you have an incursion. You have an incursion and we're here to help you deal with it. Ranger, they did help us when we found Slade's body. Slade's dead? Yeah, and from the looks of him, whatever got your friend there, got him too. Ranger, I think we should listen to them. These guys are really geared up. That reminds me of Predator. Ranger, I assure you we are here to help. I need to evacuate these people. Whatever happened to that boy and Slade and the girl, I don't want it happening again. So who are you with, and do you have transport? Well, I'm sure you saw the meteor impact up the mountain line. It wasn't the most subtle of celestial events. I don't care about that. I care about these people. Now, if you're going to help, then help. That meteor brought with it an organism, and that organism seems to be especially adaptable to this world. We're here to get rid of it. You're serious? I'm dead serious. You're telling me that an organism has something to do with what's going on? You've seen with your own eyes what it can do. Now I ask you, are there any others in your party? We have three dead people. I understand that. We're here to stop people from dying. Tell me, what the hell are you really doing here? Ranger, you have a threat in your park, a threat to all life. So I ask you, are there any others? You're not here to help us. Do I have your attention now? Search them all. Leave them alone. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Your last answer wasn't so convincing. Are there any others? I told you no. And where'd you get the second gun? How horribly do you want to die? This is what happens to anyone who's been infected. This incursion must be contained here and now by any means necessary. You've got one. No, leave him! Hey, back. Oh. Show him.
Contain him until the creature appears. At least we can get one live sample. No, you got to help me. Why? No. Not like her. Not me! No. <laughs> Claude! All right, everybody, drop to the ground! Now! What, do you think this is a Pilates class? <laughs> Everybody stay down. Can we keep them behaving? The next one of you that does something stupid is going to get a hole in the head. Personally, I hope it's you. Please. I don't want that to happen to me. All right. this, you son of a bitch. You let everyone go, or this soldier here gets his head blown off. His head blown off? Oh, that's real movie talk. Little housewife like you do something like that? Go ahead, blow off his head. There's plenty more where he came from. This ought to be real interesting. You hear that? I don't care if you live or die. Go ahead. You and your friend walk right out of here. Back off! There's a big difference between spraying people with bullets and hitting them with the sticks. It's tough to pull that trigger, isn't it? Even if it means saving your own life. Bitch. I'll take that. Now. Let me show you how it's done. Oh. <gasps> Guess not. They've got everyone back at the camp. Damn it, I warned her. Okay, you two take the trail. Go on, out now, go! Ah! 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 Ah!
is happening to me. Come on, keep moving. I got you. I know you hurt right now. But we've got to keep moving. You saw what happened to that girl. I don't want that to happen to me. Sweet Bridges, one last time. Are there any others out there? What are you gonna do? Kill us all? Well, enough with the bright ideas. I might just take you up on that. This is why I like my Teflon. Bushes. Go! Go! Scary Harry Jones. Son of a bitch. You know this guy? After all these years, and he just walks right up to us. Let's finish this. We're a minute short. He'll catch up. Fan out. Everybody stay in sight. Follow me. Tell me what's going on. I feel like I'm in a freaking Die Hard movie. I'm thinking now isn't the time for this. Come on, let's go. Give me a sec. Where's Terry? She was behind us. Well, not anymore. If those psychos find her. If those psychos find any of us out here. We're done for. Let's get back to the cabin. We can dig in. You can go. I'm not leaving her behind. We have to keep moving. <laughs> then you move. I'm not leaving her behind. Christ. Forget it. I'll get her. It's better than standing out here arguing. Kelly? 20 years ago, I met up with men like these. And I've spent most of your lifetime running from them. Everything I've told you is true. Tonight, the running stops. And don't just walk right in. Remember to knock. Okay. Let's move! Nothing you can do. I won't leave you. <laughs> I won't. We'll 
we'll get some help for you. <laughs> we'll get some... God, come on. I won't leave you! I'm sorry for what I called you. Claude? Get the hell out of here. They won't go! 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 Jesus! Over here! We thought you guys were dead. Claude is. Save it for later. Let's go. Come on. Come on, we gotta keep moving. Those things are everywhere. Guys with guns, weird alien things. I don't think they just fell behind. What the hell? Come on. We're at Harry's house. I sure hope he has a lot of guns. You have no idea. Wait. Let's 
going on? Harry's a tricky guy. What is this, to keep animals out or something? No. People. Hey! Cheryl! Where's Trey? He, he's gone. Come on. Can we hurry it up? Those things are right behind us. You don't want to just run into Harry's place without knocking. Now we go in. The one you knock. You know this place pretty well? Yeah, I've been here a few times. You and old Scruffy Mountain Man aren't an item, are you? No, old Scruffy Mountain Man is my father. Oh, open mouth, insert foot. Okay, so what do we do now? Hold out as long as we can. Hopefully Harry will show up with Terry. The odds will be better then. He has a shortwave radio. Maybe we'll be able to get a message through for Lucky. Yeah, we've been really lucky so far, huh? Stay low. Don't turn on any lights. And keep quiet. I've got to go back and get the generator on. I'm going with you. This place is really creepy. Yeah. Kind of like Evil Dead. I was thinking more along the lines of Night of the Living Dead. You would have been fun to hang out with. <laughs> Don't get all past tense on me now. You don't listen much, do you? Nope. Claude used to say I was too busy talking. I'm sorry about your husband. Thanks. Sorry I gave you such a hard time. It's all right, I'm tough. Yeah, you are. So where'd you get the fuel? I didn't see any self-serves around here. Harry takes some bush pilots hunting a few times a year. They bring their drums in by helicopter. He likes his privacy, huh? Yeah, Harry's pretty independent. Doesn't like people much or trust him. Believes in all sorts of wild conspiracies. Bigfoot, alien abduction, conspiracies, all that. You could almost choke on the irony, huh? Maybe. Let's go. Is there anyone out there? This is Ranger Kelly Jones. I'm in need of immediate assistance. Over. Is anyone out there? Over. We're receiving you, Ranger. I need you to get a hold of the state police. You have to, you have to find them and get them to come here. Over. Why? 
Who is this? Over. We own the airwaves, Ranger. Please just be reasonable. We have a helicopter. We'll evacuate everyone. You win. Get a read on it? Yeah. Half a click. Dead ahead. They certainly are. Has anyone here ever handled a firearm? Uh, paintballs count? <sighs> what? Point and shoot, right? How hard's that? I really wish your father was here right now. Yeah, for once, so do I. Okay, everyone, listen up. Clip goes in like this. Safety off. Rack him up. Ready to shoot, okay? Aim the gun like you're pointing your finger. And go for the mass of the body. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. And exhale when you shoot. When you're empty, pop in a new one. You got that? Yep. <laughs> Glad someone knows what they're doing. Hello, Harry. Been looking for you for quite some time. Yeah. You know, I said a lot of time stuck. Cause I don't swing that way, sweetheart. I think he almost had you both. It's tougher than he looks. Yeah, it must be that diet of oats, nuts, and pine cones, or whatever it is these woodsy types chew down on now. Maybe he's been chowing down on that pretty little ranger. I think the old pine cone kicker here is a soft spot for the ranger, personally. No, not Harry. He likes his solitude. Besides, marked men make lousy boyfriends, right, Harry? So what have you been up to lately, Harry? Besides bulking up for the winter. You know, the last time I saw you, you had your tail between your legs and you were scurrying through the bushes like a little girl. Well, what do you think? I think the ranger is definitely in Casa de Termite there. 
What do you say now that we got all the hens in the hen house? Why don't we get a kraken and gather us up some eggs? You gonna bore us all to death with bad metaphors? Well, we could just end this incursion right here and now by killing everyone and sterilizing the landscape. You like the sound of it better when I put it that way, Mountain Man? You're a real bathroom poet, Stucker. Oh! Suck it up, Harry. Oh. Where are you, Harry? What does that do? That was for Samantha. And Claude. Too bad it didn't get in. Save us a little work. No, better we do it ourselves just to be certain. No evidence, no witnesses. You're all hearts. But since we last met up, Harry, I've learned to be thorough. Loose ends come back to haunt. Let's announce ourselves. They're coming. Stay down, stay away from the window. That's far enough! I told you before, Ranger, you win! And this has all just gotten out of hand. I promise you, we'll evacuate you all. You just gotta keep your word that you're not gonna say a word about any of this. Why should I believe you? What's with the paranoia? What's with you shooting people? They're not coming out just to make your job easier, Stucker. You have no leverage here. can't say we didn't try diplomacy. You know, I'm thinking old Bushmaster here looks like the take my gun from my cold dead fingers type. There's no telling what we're gonna be walking into with a frontal assault here. Cold dead fingers, I like it. Shut up, hold him. Oh. We aren't playing here, ladies. You know, I think they're gonna come out right quick when you start screaming good and loud, and then I'll have all the leverage I need. Ah! What do you say, ladies? I got nine more here. No! Don't do it, Kelly! Again! Daddy! I'm sorry! Hold up! Tough old bird, this one. Harry, Harry, Harry. all night to cut off body parts, Stucker. Let's get on with this. You question my authority? Ah! Terry! Help me! Not just yet. Let's see if they let little sweetie pie there fry. Come on, girl. Come on. 
Come on! Come on! We need to put pressure on the wound. It's not stopping. He must have a first aid kit or something. He doesn't have an operating table, and that's what she needs. Just keep pressure on it. I am not gonna stay around here for them to get us. They're gonna get in sooner or later. We have to bring them to us, on our terms. Sounds great. Any ideas? We lure them in, then take them out. Now if any of you don't think that you can kill... I can kill. All right, time to put Pops here back to work. Don't tell me he croaked. Coffee breaks over, old man. Come on, don't you die on us yet. Oh. 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 Harry. It's in my arm! It's in my arm! Get it out! What the hell happened? He's been compromised. Guys. What's happening? You know what to do. Procedure. Sorry, partner, you do the same for us. Shoot him again! Now you come out of that cabin! No, Kelly, don't! Perhaps they need just a little more visceral pressure. Huh, Pops? Harry, unfortunately, we're gonna have to set you on fire. Just to see if the side of us roasting marshmallows over your sorry ass cracks their steely feminine resolve. Oh no, better yet. Castration. Yeah. The sight of dear old dad getting his nuts blown off is certain to bring him out. This is not the mission, Stucker. This can wait. Harry. Harry, how about a good old fashioned scalping? Huh? I am going to make this man scream. Well, now what? What the hell are you doing? I have to go out. He's my father. This is not the mission! Getting them out of that cabin is the mission! No, Kelly, don't do it. No, no, no. Come on and join the party. Bring the rest of them with you. Turn off the grid. One of them has got a broken ankle and the other girl is injured. Yes, I know. I shot her. Kelly, what the hell do you think you're doing?
Don't forget to knock. Oh yes, and we'll be certain to wipe our feet as well. Don't you give the bastards the satisfaction. Oh, never quit! Dad never did. All he did was protect us. And I never believed him. Let's make them pay. This should hurt like hell. I can't feel a thing. You will. You're in shock. I got him back. <laughs> we gotta call, call this off, stuff. No! No! We finish this ourselves. We've done some outrageous crap through the years, Stucker, but this is way beyond protocol. You're making this personal. You've gotta call this off. Baby, you're right. I think I'll have the last word on that. Shut up. I heard something. I swear, I heard something. Earth so far. Come closer. 
Harry's got an ATV around the back by the generator. An ATV? Why didn't you say something before? Because it only takes two people. We're just gonna run out on you. I'm not gonna last long enough for a doctor to get to me. So just shut up. And listen to me, okay? We can't just run outside. Everybody's got guns or, or teeth and they're out to kill us. There's a way. The gun cabinet. Secret panel? Yeah, just open it up. Hurry! Get going! Jack, come and get her! Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, kid. Now get going. Come on, Jack. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come and get me. You all right? Think we should tell them? They'll never believe us. Right. Well, then let's just get out of here. They'll know soon enough. <laughs>